Hello and welcome. Let's talk about earnest money deposits, also known as a binder deposit, initial deposit, good faith deposit, or simply EMD. An earnest money deposit is a sum of money that a buyer pays to a seller as a sign of their commitment to purchase a property. It's typically a percentage of the purchase price and is held in an escrow account until the sale is finalized. It's essentially your skin in the game. The names for earnest money deposits can vary by region, state, or even by the type of real estate transaction. For example, in some states, a binder deposit is the same as an earnest money deposit, while in others, it refers to a document that outlines the terms of the sale. In most cases though, good faith deposit or initial deposit is used interchangeably with earnest money deposit. Typically, one to two percent of the purchase price is appropriate. For example, if you're putting an offer in on a house that's listed for $350,000, you would likely put down from $3,500 to $7,000. A larger deposit generally makes your offer stronger and is a good negotiating tactic. Remember, it's your skin in the game and proves to a seller just how serious you are. The earnest money deposit is held in an escrow account until the sale is finalized. At that point, it's applied to the purchase price or returned to the buyer if the sale falls through due to a contingency that was written into the contract. Contingencies can include things like an unsatisfactory home inspection or the inability to secure financing. An earnest money deposit is important because it shows the seller that the buyer is serious about purchasing the property. It also provides some protection for the seller if the buyer backs out of the deal without a valid reason. In that case, the seller may be entitled to keep the earnest money deposit as compensation for taking the property off the market and potentially losing out on other offers. In conclusion, an earnest money deposit is a sum of money that a buyer pays to a seller as a sign of their commitment to purchase a property. It can also be called a binder deposit, good faith deposit, initial deposit, or simply EMD. It's held in an escrow account until the sale is finalized and is applied to the purchase price or returned to the buyer if the sale falls through due to a contingency. An earnest money deposit is important because it shows the seller that the buyer is serious about purchasing the property and provides some protection for the seller if the buyer backs out of the deal without a valid reason. There you have it. The next time your agent or loan officer asks you how much you're planning to put down for your earnest money deposit, you'll know how to answer. And thank you for watching.